Rothaus. Yeah, hey! It's pretty crazy. While some people pledge for more openness towards diversity and different lifestyles, for you, only the best is ever good enough. And the winner is Curtin Bison. Let's see some more fucking cool Strange Bizarre games everywhere. Thank you so, so much. You won't tell me because it's cosmic top secret. This is a big jazz, this world. And what it's trying to do is to see how jazzed up it can get. The winners Everything by David O'Reilly. The most amazing game award goes to Charles University, Czech Academy of Science, for a 10 time 1942. Thank you. Thank you so much. Inside the box, you're completely protected. Everything is taken care of, and no harm will ever come to you. My twisted world is so distorted. I need your soul. Hey, my name is Lena, and um, I just want to thank all the people at the Maze Festival. And it's like a dream come true that people actually enjoy some of the things that come from our imagination. to the uh, Maze Awards 2021, uh, Maze Berlin 2021 Hyper Hybrid 10th International Games and Playful Media Festival. I'm Thorsten S. Wiedemann, I'm the founder of uh, Maze and Artistic Director and for now and for the next one hour, your host through the Maze Award Show. I'm super happy to have a lot of people here in the uh, in the urban spree as well because i mean we have a little bit of a physical things going on and um, the, the the festival what we are doing this year is the 10th birthday and i'm super happy of what is happening here in the last two and a half days we have planned to make a wonderful space for you so it's a little bit of a pity that we can't have the games played in the space and also that you can't see the the award show in the space, but as somebody said to me, we plan a party in space. You want to help us plan it? Yeah, space is everywhere. We love space so much. Adam Musk and all these people are sending rockets into space. We are working on spaces, many spaces, and one day we're gonna have our May space back and you can play all these wonderful games what we selected for this award. Now I want to get a little bit serious. And this is also the first time I do this moderation. That's why I'm super nervous. And um, I'm trying my best to keep control and also say something not so stupid. And being a little bit of playful, um, I want to talk about the Amaze Awards. I mean, hey, I've seen this wonderful animation, what Nomi did and uh, Matthias. Um, and Matthias is working 
with a maze for 2012 uh, on the awards and he's also doing the, the jury coordination and it's just like a pleasure working with him and congratulations every year that he pulls everything together with a nice team and is getting more and more advanced and I'm super happy to work with Matthias together and uh, he has a super cool mind of what's going on, the trends in games and we talk a lot about the games, what were selected and also submitted and uh, yeah, I mean he's the mastermind behind the Amaze Awards and yeah, so if he would be here now on stage I would give him a hug and if there would be a no COVID I would give him a kiss. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, since 2012, there's a lot of stuff happened. So we celebrate 10 years and um, we had wonderful winners. And we had as well, just before the awards, we had a session with the award winners. I think there were seven in the, uh, in the session and uh, it was a great conversation. And I know that when you win an Amaze Award, then the future is bright, you know, because you're an amazing person, you pulled it off. You made the best game, you made a milestone, a Maze games, a maze selected games are anyway the best because they fuck the mainstream and we are occupying the mainstream with our art, with our expression. We are basically filling the future. Art house games are the future of video games. Nothing else. Fuck entertainment. We want to have meaningful stuff. Yeah? Yeah? And you do it right. You're the best community. You're the best artist worldwide. And we are actually basically really, 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 really international. We are diverse. We are the rainbow nation of video games, basically, right? I mean, this is what we are. I mean, we are diverse. We really take care about the community. And this is something what is very, very important. And the industry should do this as well and not do whatever this whatever money game, what they're doing. They actually should look into the art, you know, nothing else. So stop this rant. Yeah, so a lot of stuff happened in the last 10 years and um, since a few years we have a lot more awards than ever before. I mean we started with one award, it was a kind of a silicon cube, We're very beautiful, soft, we could squeeze it. Inside there was a metal ball and, and there was on, on a concrete uh, um, plateau, very beautiful. Just a few people won this award and then we changed, I think it was in 2019, to the um, other award which is also very nice and super futuristic because it's it's a hologram, you know, everybody wants to have holograms. I want to have a hologram at home. I want to go somewhere and I'm not there, you know, this is what, and then people can see me. I mean, this is fantastic. This is the future, like art house games. Art house games are the future. You're the punks of the digital age. Sorry for spitting. Um, um, yeah, so, I mean, you enrich the culture, the games culture. And um, we have this here, again, seven awards. And uh, for these awards, this year, 251 games mm -hmm. from 48 countries. Can you believe? From 48 countries submitted. And out of these, all these games, I mean, it's the highest number ever, all around there, 25 nominees we have from 24 countries. How is this happening? How is that happening, huh? It's happening because we have a great team and we work since years together and without the team, Amaze wouldn't be here, right? I mean, as well, as well, the community is super important, of course, but the team actually is the mastermind behind that all, you know? And uh, I mean, we have a lot of changes over the years. I mean, it's 10 years, there can some stuff happening. Everybody's still alive, and but they <laughs> want to do another job because uh, working with me is also very stressful for some people and because I'm extremely funny, I'm always telling jokes, very good jokes, and I call them, I call them at three o'clock in the morning and say, hey, I have a joke. And yeah, the team is really amazing. So uh, we have a great team like Sorider Butter, Verena Lawrence, Matthias Löwe, Sebastian Hogestraten, Daniel Rosenaga, Philipp Schäfer, Anna Jelisitz, Jell 
it's always complicated the name sorry for jamie tobin florian stolzenhain martina machino they're actually the content people more or less but then we have a wonderful team for the streaming this year and also we worked last year together and i'm super happy to have no formal team uh, again with us and it's spike rogers trent grinnell torben utecht jonas dautel and then we have also well, it's a crazy i mean moderators like um, santiago pastor um Gerion plettner elise terranova the space team the space team is somewhere in space uh, but they really really working hard and i really really have to tell you that they really wanted to pull this off we had of course all these kind of experimental mindset and we want to do something extremely cool for you and sometimes I, we just fucked it up you know we this time we fucked it up but anyway the space will be back and the space team is amazing and i love working with them together with stefan insam with alpha rats with moshe linke with daniel rosenaga and with Gianluca pandolfo the bazaar team this is something what we also did just before, right before the festival uh, i like to thank Tobias Kopka, Lena Alter, and Michael Liebe. Then um, public relations is uh, for us uh, Nike Willems also since whatever 2010 I think we worked together. Oh shit! I mean, Amazing was also before we started that. So, so actually we we are not celebrating 10 years, right? But we're celebrating. Of course, we're celebrating 10 years of our mission with Amaze Berlin. Nike Willems, Jens Keiner, Rob Garner, and Christopher Luckman. Then the design, we, every year we have incredible design and style. And I'd like to thank Beata Nietat, um, Oliver Speaker, Nomi, and uh, Oda Tilset, and Daniel F. Wehleit, and Guillermo Federico Heinze. Then we have as well this year for the first time a wonderful collaboration with the leipzig research museum and i'd like to thank their special and she's also a special guest today. Um, I'm not going to bring you on stage now, uh, maybe in an hour, but um, yeah, Frau Kestuhl, she pulled it up with us to actually make something really, really beautiful. Um, she will talk about that later. And uh, she was working together with Jana Reinhardt, Svenja Anhut, and Tatiana Vilela dos Santos. Thank you so much. I think I have everything. Oh yeah, thank you to the volunteers. Yeah, this year we had not so many volunteers. Why, why we don't have so many volunteers? We made so many calls and no volunteers, only three next time. But next time it's gonna be physical and then we need millions. No, we just, just 100 is enough. Um, and of course the selection committee, the selection committee, yeah. It's very, very important for this awards process because it's a lot of games, 251 games, and the selection committee is also, some of them are working with us since also 10 years together, right? I mean, uh, they're always coming back and forth and then they're playing the games and also vote on the stuff. And it's really, really amazing to have you to help us select the games. Um, then of course, without sponsors, this whole event wouldn't be possible. So, and, uh, this partnership with Medium Board in Brandenburg is super important. Um, to work with them together is just fantastic. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot to Medium Board in Brandenburg. And uh, also, I mean, COVID changed a lot. I mean, we're sitting here in the studio. Yeah. So, and um, I mean, there are no games and um, yeah, everything is kind of awkward. Um, and the Games Week, we always were connected to the, to the Games Week uh, Berlin and um, we we still work together for for example for the bazaar and it's uh, also always a good ride to work with them together thanks to michael liebe to also help us and uh, in any way and uh, uh, um, it's it's great to work with you yeah then of course our sponsors and, and partners thank you for humble original game verband der deutschen games branche kickstarter and the leibniz research museum goethe institute surf you Gamesnet Berlin Europe, Gamesnet Berlin Brandenburg, Grover, Next Player for Unity, Free Lives, those awesome guys, Institut Francais, Solar, Diamond Club, 
very good. They helped us with uh, the, the bazaar, I think, yeah. And uh, in VR space, Eventbrite and Fritz Cola. So it's not a pro, 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 where's my product placement? Mm, delicious. But thank you very much, because now we come to the main part. Thank you very much uh, uh, um, to, for the jury. And uh, um, I'm gonna bring the jury step by step uh, on the screen and we have a little bit of a conversation and they say something and then we, we have all the, the, the nominees uh, shown for the, each category. And um, thanks so much, um, Lina and W, Bleep Track, Drew Viani and Adele Lin for judging on the new winners. And uh, uh, I think you had a lot of fun. I mean, we had a small conversation just uh, previous, and um, yeah, it's it's super special, right? I mean, you play the games, you communicate, you discuss, and maybe there's also a lot of differences. What is the best game? What fits the best to the category? But I think because I know the winners, you want to know the winners? You did a great job. You did really, really a great job and uh, congratulations for that. Yeah, first we want to start because now it's going to get drum roll like. Yeah, we want to start to bring on the screen Lena W. Please welcome for the Digital Moment Award. Hey, Lina. Good, thank you. It's super hot here. Super hot. How is it in LA? Also summer? Yeah, yeah. What's the time in LA? 1 p.m. Yeah, it's, so it must be very hot then. So it's in five. We have Celsius, we have Celsius and uh, you have Fahrenheit. How much Fahrenheit is that? Yeah. 80, that's, that's in Celsius? It's not that, no, 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 <laughs> no, it's in Fahrenheit, which is, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, 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 right. I mean, it's almost winter for you, right? Uh, no, it's just summer, just the dead of summer. Okay, Lena, you want right. to tell us something about the digital yeah. nominees and the awards, please. So, the, oh, should I talk about all the nominees or just present, present the award? You, you present your award, right? Yeah, yes, let's yes. do it. Let's do it. Okay. It's the, first one <laughs> the Digital Moment Award goes to an inventive, emotional, and humorous game world specific live hip hop performance that is pushing the boundaries of games, theater, and performance as a PC game created with the sole intention of being inhabited by this live performance. And the winner is Adventures of Hari Hari by Harold Hijazi. Hello, Harold. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Oh, you're drinking. What are you drinking? I just drink Fritz Cola because there is no alcohol inside. <laughs> Harold. Can you hear me? So I'm I'm super happy because the performance piece this this uh, this game is really really incredible. I was talking a lot with uh, Matthias about the game, uh, and it's a basically a performance about. Uh, um, fundraising right something like that yeah or um is it well it's about it's smiling? about you this character Harry, Harry, um and his struggles to fit into Finnish society and he's trying to you know get into the art world and get into the game world and all these sorts of things and and a part of it was applying for the grant so that's one of the levels in the performance where he's trying to get one of these grants and he gets quite upset because he doesn't get any grants but um, yeah, it's kind of fundraising, I suppose. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. And, uh, now, after this award, do you accept the award? 
most certainly absolutely i i I accept the award on behalf of Finland and all my Finnish mentors who helped make this possible. I have to drop a couple names, Joke Hekula, Temo Maitinen, and all the mentors that helped uh, encourage me and support me to make this project possible. Congratulations. You must be super happy. And I'm also super Very happy. happy. So hopefully Absolutely. you can come so to Berlin happy. and uh, to celebrate this then together in 2022, because Finland is I not so wait. far. Absolutely not. I'll definitely be there. I can't, Amaze is a huge inspiration for me, and it was last year, and especially your performance, Lena, was a massive inspiration, and I, yeah, so grateful to be a part of it. Kitos Amaze Festival. Thank you Thank so you much, much, Harold. Have a very nice evening and don't uh, switch off, but look now into the nominees. Oh, in Finland here. Oh, in Finland here. What do you want? What do you want for that? Adventures of Harry Harry perform live on Remix 3D assets and beats. beats. Game design technologies and hip hop methodologies. Harry Harry going around place to place in Helsinki, just trying to fit in in Finland. Finland. Clean the mind of deceased artists to keep their genius skill sets but erase all the unnecessary dramas. Hi, I'm Alan. And I'm Alison. We're the ones who made the game you just saw where you can destroy art in a video game. And we made I don't hear anything. Yeah, so I hope you guys would enjoy the game. And, and we are going to go back and eat some hot pot right now. And Bye. see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Hi, we are designers of today's recipe from China. We plan to make a time travel game at the beginning. And now it's a cooking game you learn how to cook with your grandma. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, you want to do it? I'm so excited. This is some uh, really great South African music that you should all listen to. from Norway. We are truly honored to be part of this year's Amaze. We want to give a thanks to the Norwegian Film Institute, all the wonderful voice actors that helped us, the amazing choir Aurum, Ambolt Audio, and everyone else who helped make this game in the midst of a global pandemic. Thank you. Hello, hi, good, I'm, I'm doing well. You're based in India and you've been the Humble New Talent Award winner last year. How yeah. was your year? <laughs> uh, it's, been, it's, it's been interesting. <laughs> uh, still, still under lockdown here, but it's, it's been productive and good. That's great. That's wonderful and good to hear. And um, you are presenting the Human Human Machine Award, exactly? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is the award for the best game that can be played by two or more people in the same room and highlights human interaction. And let's have a look at the nominees. Let's show the nominees. Hi, 
We are two of the three developers of Davigo from Vancouver, BC, Canada. The concept of a giant fighting a small warrior was initially inspired by the Japanese anime Attack on Titan, and we went on to design a game that would connect PC and VR players in a shared experience, to make VR less isolating and more social. Thanks so much for this nomination, and we hope you enjoy the game. No wires, no tracking stations. The player's ultimate goal is to produce an ice cream for a demanding customer. <laughs> Maze Festival, thank you so much for the nomination of Frozen Factory. I'm Eike from Curvature Games and I want to introduce you to our team. This is Kolja, Daniel, Malte, Tim, Hannah, Mark and Dennis. Map of Utopia is a, a common project from a German independent theatre company called Fringe Ensemble and from Teatro a platform from Istanbul. Map to Utopia geleceğin şehri üzerine düşünmek için bir imkan arayışı ve bunu da tiyatronun olanaklarıyla teknolojinin olanaklarını birlikte tartışarak aslında üretmeyi hedefliyor. Create a menu of colorful dishes for Mother Russia. Mixing the expected color can be tricky. I think we will get intoxicated. Hello from the Hyper Headquarter. This festival is not only full of wild stories, but also of wild ways to tell them. And we are super proud to be a part of this. See you soon. My spirits. We are ready now to perform together. Hi, my name is Samantha Gorman. I'm the co-director of Tender Claws and Tempest. We'd like to thank the amazing talent of the actors who brought Tempest to life, including Dasha Kittredge, Brandon Bales, Deirdre Lyons, Jean Viof Lati, James Cowan, Haley Nichelle, Caitlin Schiller, Kelly Pierre, Michael Bates, Terence LeClaire, and Witten Frank. Thank you. True. Yeah. Uh, Who is the winner? So it is, it is an obvious fact that multiplayer games and performances pose a particular challenge during this time of isolation. After all, to play together has never seemed more urgent and rarely has it been more difficult. Amidst such dislocation, to be able to reckon with not just a need for mutual interaction, but also to be able to ponder what it means to belong to a place and a community, and moreover, to do so with a verve and sensitivity that turns the apathetic internet conversation into a lively town square is remarkable. The project that accomplishes this delicate feat and the winner of this category is Map to Utopia by Fringe Ensemble and Platform Theatre. I'm so happy for you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Congratulations. I can't hear you. Yes. Oh, no, Thank you. No, Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we, we are so excited and so happy. Uh, we, we are actually celebrating my birthday, so we're out. So we will add to also the award now to the celebration. Uh, That's great. It's, it's so exciting. And it was, yeah. Our birthday, awards. What's going to happen next? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, we have some uh, plans for the future of the project for Map to Utopia. Yeah. Uh, but we want to continue in this uh, genre. It is uh, exciting to explore the possibilities and the limits. Uh, it was a great experience for us to be a part of MAs. Uh, we are really thrilled with the uh, winning. Uh, thanks a lot. Would you like to thank someone? Uh, we would like to thank uh, everyone who have been part of the project with us, put their efforts and helped us in any way. 
uh, it was it was definitely a journey for us and yeah we are happy that we made it thank you so much and congratulations have a nice birthday and hopefully thank we're going to so see much. you in berlin next year that would be yes. super lovely we, we love so to we love to be there situation is getting better better on earth and um, have a very nice day and um, talk you. soon celebration bye, -bye. <laughs>and uh, now the third award and i like to bring on stage virtually uh, bleep track and um, she will represent the long feature award this year we, i know um, sabine or bleep track i know since uh, 2019 we did a collaboration uh, a kind of an artist residency with the now play this festival and uh, it was very successful um, and uh, we showcased that in 2019 and welcome to to be here with us and uh, please it's your stage yeah thanks so much i'm super excited and honored to present the long feature award uh, that's the award for complex games and developing virtual reality worlds these are the ones who challenge your life by offering immersive storytelling and much more than two hours of gameplay so I think let's just have a look at the nominees. From Italy. I've made a rogue escape. It's a VR game like no other. It combines an escape room with a cockpit simulation. In other words, you are thrown inside a mysterious machine and you'll have to figure out how to pilot this thing all on your own. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Thank you, bye! Camera is a slippery thing. Time to hit the road. Hey Dan! Hey Patrick! We're uh, the creative directors at Mad About Pandas and we couldn't be happier that Hitchhiker is part of the Amaze Festival this year. Yeah, Hitchhiker is quite an icy game, so Amaze is a perfect festival for us. I am dead. But it's not a big deal. I can do some new things. We need to find the ghosts, otherwise the volcano will destroy the island. Hello, I'm Ricky Haggart. I'm one of the people that worked on the game I Am Dead. It's a game about the ghost of a museum curator who can see through physical objects and he has to track down some other ghosts on the island of Shelmerston, which he does by jumping inside people's heads and, and visiting memories of their lives. And we're really delighted to be nominated by um, Amaze. Thank you very much. Do you want me to spy on them through her memories? I just want you to find out how she died. Hey Amaze Festival, I'm David, I'm the creative director of The Signifier, a game about AI and psychoanalysis. Thank you for this nomination and make sure to take a look at the game. I'm Joel and I'm working on Time Bandit. I'm most excited to share it with everyone because it features an explicitly anti-capitalist melodrama with characters who are shaped by their responses to real issues like labor exploitation, economic crisis, colonization, and more. For the Long Feature Award, the jury decided on a game where life and death are full of little secrets to discover, carefully woven into multiple little stories. Through these stories, we as players view back on lives already gone in a curious, melancholic, and loving way. Death is not the scary enemy here, but an integral part of life, and the actions of past friends still influence the world around us. So the winner for the Long Feature Award goes to 
Hollow Ponds with I Am Dead. Hello. This is where my old pal Pete Noach lived. He used to run a yoga retreat here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're off again some really great stuff. To find the ghosts. Surprising to win. The oh, lovely. Destroy the island. Sparky, I didn't want to worry them. How are you doing? Ah, tired. <laughs> but all right. Excited. So how are you going to celebrate it? And what's, it, what's going to happen now after you win that award? Uh, well, I'm going to have another beer and then probably another one and then probably go to bed because I'm tired, but I've, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's on your t-shirt? Tilda? Oh, it says Tilda Swinton. Oh, fantastic. She's amazing. Entrance. Yes, yes, fantastic. Really good. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations. Do you want to thank someone? Thank you. Do you want to send some uh, Yeah, thanks to the whole cat. team, uh, to Anna Perna for publishing and working with us, everyone at Amaze for nominating us and giving us this award. Uh, yeah, just thank you to everyone who played the game. Yeah, you should do it. And thank you very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, you're going to hear from us. And also, if you have a chance next year, come to Amaze Berlin 2022. Thank you. Oh, I will. It's been too long since I've been to Congratulations. <laughs>
all these other amazing games. What can we say? It's such a treat to be here. Good luck to everyone. Play games. Hi, I'm Andy, this is Emma, and we're from True Crime Games. We live in Melbourne, Australia, and we make AR games based on true historical crimes. And we're so thrilled our game, Eastern Market Murder, has been nominated for an Amaze Award. Thanks to all the organisers, the judges, and good luck to all the nominees. I'm Evelyn, creator of You're Disinfected, a mind-altering experience addressing the silenced female voices in our pandemic high-tech society. By interactively exploring a real sci-fi maze with protective suit and the R goggles, a silent word is made resound and the unheard is given a voice. You are in part of the city where you need to find a monster. You have a monster card, go to the location with Google Street View and then look around. Hello everyone, this is Tamer, founder of Spy Games. Wanted to make a game where you can discover Vienna remotely, and this is how we came up with Monster Hunt Vienna. Use maps, street view, and also our monster cards with riddles, and find little curiosities in our city. Thank you. So, Adele, let us know who is the winner. So these were all amazing games and experiences that, um, you know, that the whole jury really enjoyed. But the winner of this next award, they introduced us to a difficult to execute alt control mechanic whilst weaving in a delicate story about love, loss, expectations, and self-reflection. This experience encourages us to pay attention to tiny actions we take for granted, and even more so, the vulnerability and care we deny ourselves and others as we each strive for greatness. The game even gets harder to play as one's feelings start to interfere with the mechanic itself. And so the winner is Before Your Eyes by Goodbye World Games. Every time that you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Hello, thank you so much. Second, could be five years. But understand, no matter how much you're so excited. You like it, uh, I'm a big fan of Amaze. I've been wanting to come to Berlin for so long, but I'm I'm glad that I got the it's opportunity for this. Works. I I want to just uh, thank, of course, our team that couldn't be with me right now. Uh, Ollie Lewin, you saw in the video, it's truly his victory, and and Bella and Graham, uh, and and Rich, uh, all of us, and everyone else on the team, as well as our publishers. Thank you, Skybound. Thank you, Riot, and Jake Sally for believing us. Uh, I'm I'm such a fan of uh, Maze, and so I'm just yeah overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Yeah, congratulations! And um, do you want to thank someone? <laughs> uh, aside from just the teams, you know, I, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> plenty of other people to thank. You know, my 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 lovely girlfriend for keeping me alive during this, and Madeline, and uh, and. Uh, Everyone who believed in the project, everyone on Kickstarter, uh, and thank you for waiting so long. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Um, please have a, have a wonderful celebration, have a wonderful day, and um, congratulations, home. And hopefully back in Berlin in 2022, that would be fantastic when we're going to meet and exchange and to also present the games in physical life. would be wonderful. Thank you so we'll much. We'll see you there. A very good time and all the best. It's a special award, and um, usually people run through the physical gallery and they play all the games, and then they have dots and put them everywhere at the at the screens or one plate, and then we go run around and then we count them, and then the winner is. So, and uh, usually we wanted to do this like last year in the Amaze Space, but the Amaze Space is not ready yet, but maybe it's for tomorrow. Let's hope. I wish everybody the best. And um, 
Yeah, so people you can vote on the games. They can play them, download them, play them, and vote on the games. And there are also not just uh, the, the, the nominees, also the honorable mentions, also this kind of special selection is also part of this, but this year, not. So uh, it's not the whole exhibition, basically. It's now the nominees and the honorable mentions. And um, we, we, we sent out a Google form and everybody could vote on it. And um, yeah, it was very, very, very close. Very, very, very close, like every year. Um, and yeah, thanks, thanks to the community that you had fun voting and also maybe you had the chance to play as well the games. And um, because some people get into the space. I remember that somebody posted some screenshot from the space. Somehow we have server issues, but yeah, we're gonna solve this. So the winner for the audience award, Amaze Berlin, not Berlin, Berlin. 2021, the audience uh, award winner is Time Bandit. Whoa. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Well, <laughs> how are you thanks doing? Thanks so much. I'm good. I'm great. So, um, was it a surprise I guess it's or... a, or, uh, yeah, yes. Well, I guess if uh, an anti-capitalist uh, and a very explicitly anti-capitalist game can uh, win the uh, audience award, then there is hope for uh, anti-capitalist art after all. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not gonna send you the money. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, congratulations. So what is your next project? Is there anything already in the loop? Or you, you just finished the game right now, right? So you make a break? Oh, this, one's, this one still has a long while to go. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish that you're gonna come to Amaze Berlin as well next year. So to see you in a physical space and that we can play games and maybe drink something together and party and dancing and music because Amaze Festival is not only about games, it's also about all a lot of other stuff because we celebrate art house games every year since almost more than 10 years. Yeah, I Thank wish I much. wish I was there right now to be to party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a little a little backyard where we come together and also in the backyard to the people in the backyard. To the people in the backyard. I hope you enjoy the award show. See you later. Thank you very much, Joel. Pleasure meeting you and congratulations. So and now Oh, Frauke, you're already here. Bam. Oh, comes. <laughs> Incredible. I mean, I, I said already uh, uh, um, at the, at the pre-moderation, um, Frauke, we are talking basically already since August last year. Last year. You're <laughs> several times at the Maze Festival, and you also work for a huge, huge association, um, the Leibniz Association, and um, they have how many, maybe you can tell a little bit more about it, but I think it's eight or nine museums, mm -hmm. one of the biggest museums mm -hmm. in, in, in Germany with crazy good content, and uh, they want to learn how game developers actually think about museums and how they rethink museums and uh, use games game mechanics or also gameplay and also the idea of playfulness for museums. And we had a wonderful um, 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 game jam, online game jam, the Amaze Museums online game jam. It was from Monday until Wednesday. Um, how many participants we had? Oh, I think it was around 40, I think, from all over the world, actually. Um, and that was what we really loved, that we had like really just um, perspectives from all over the world, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, thank you for this opportunity. Thank it was you. Great working together mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, it was awesome. And it was really a nice process. Also to all the mentors who helped building that, it was really, really good. And hopefully we can work together again. Yeah, I hope so too. 
inspirational for game developers and as well for us mm -hmm. to do this. And yeah, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Thorsten. Yeah, hello, everybody. It was 48 hours, 14 teams and 14 incredible game ideas. And we're still all very flashed from this great um, experience. So um, from Monday to Wednesday, so just before the Amaze um, Festival started, um, we had this very fantastic game jam, um, A World in Motion, which was organized by the Leibniz Research Museums and the Amaze Festival. And there we wanted to create a museum's cross um, engaging experience based on the content of those research museums. And um, if you want to know more about our research museums from the Leibniz Association, please look at the chat there. You see our homepage and you can sneak in and see what we're doing there and who is involved. And um, yeah, before I start to, ta um, to say a little bit more about the jam, jam, I really want to thank everyone who was involved. First of all, um, Zonia, Svenja, sorry, Svenja and Jana, who were um, the coordinators of the game jam and guided all, everybody through this jam really in a really amazing way. And then I also want to thank, of course, the experts from the research museums who took part and helped um, the game creators create the games with all the amazing content from the research museums. And of course, I want to thank uh, my team in the Leibniz um, office. Ellie, thank you for um, helping out all the time. And then, of course, I want to thank you, the Amaze crew, for helping us for doing all this. It was really great and fun working with you. And um, Torsten, I also want to thank you that we had this talk, uh, like, I don't know, how many years ago, and that we're here now and doing this together and happy 10th anniversary as well thank you very much thank you very much and last but not least but most important i want to thank all the crazy great enthusiastic game creators who did this jam with us and um, took the experience and took the ride with us in this game jam Everybody really did um, such a great job. And according to the talk about Playful Museums, which we had yesterday, um, I can only say, yes, museum, museums curators and um, no, museums curators and game, game creators talk the same language. So, and I'm so happy that we brought them together in this game jam. But um, what did, came out of it? I can only say we had like these 14 teams, these 14 games, and we had a one team, um, for instance, created um, a game to create a collage monster out of um, objects from the museums, which was really, really fantastic and great. Then we have an underwater museum run by a fish with different rooms and different objects from each museum. I have to read this because there are so many. I, yeah. And then we had a game about a museum of touch a curious robot, a snake who collects objects, and an amazing orbit. And then we also had a wonderful um, and interesting game um, where randomly, um, where the players get to choose um, randomly objects, um, three of a kind, which are kind of closed um, um, from the content wise, and um, they had to uh, write their own story about it. And then we had a game inspired by the book Library of Babel, and also a really fun game um, where an alien crashes into the world and he needs the help. It was a little blob, fantastic animated. Um, where was I? Yeah, and it was crashed on the on on planet Earth, and it, with the help of objects of the museums, um, it could uh, fix his um, his spaceship and go back to. And then we also have a delightful Museums of Dreams. That was a game, it was an amazing 3D work. Really, really, yeah, it really was very stunning what you did in this um, short amount of time. Then we have an escape room-like game in the first, where um, the player has to solve riddles using artifacts from the museum. And also two games which are already finished, an AR game where um, you use a marine sextant to navigate 
through um, to navigate a ship and find your way home. Also really, really cool. And also, not, not, sorry, last but not least, a murder mystery collage where you have to find a murder weapon and it might be a museum's object. So, um, but actually let's have a look yourself. Um, we're showing you now a wonderful video um, from the game jam made by Tatiana Vilela dos Santos and with the music of Gabriel. And after the film, we will show you um, five great examples um, from this from the games I just mentioned. For us, it was very important that those games are museums crossed, that they're interactive, multi-perspective, very engaging, and of course, a lot of fun. And actually, they're all of them, but we show you now um, five of them, and this will be the little alien who crashes on Earth, Escape the Museum, Mr. Fish, then um, the game with the three objects where you can write a story about, and the museum's monsters. So thank you all again, and let's jam again. Yeah, that's Jem again. <laughs> A warm welcome to everybody to First A World in Motion online game jam, which is a collaboration between Amaze and the Leibniz Research Museums. We are your host for the jam, but we have also some other people here. Hello everybody, I'm Thorsten and I'm running a maze 2008 now. I'm the conceptualizer and coordinator of all the museums across events happening in the Leibniz Research Museums. Museums and the games, they can tell wonderful, interesting and engaging stories. And with your creativity and the content of the research museums, we want to rethink museums. Here on Discord, I have these sketches. And here's some concepts. Right now, I've just been building up the apartment, and we're going to use various items from all of the museums and incorporate them. And the goal for the user is to look for the murder weapon. We are working in the art, researching game mechanics in Unity. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I've been busy just doing like the technical stuff. Yeah, basically our idea is we have a little robot who is on a great adventure on planet Earth and there he finds some interesting objects. Yeah, the day is full of work and hopefully also a lot of fun. And we are really looking forward to all your presentations. Yeah, so our uh, main gameplay again is uh, solving riddles. You would need to activate some sort of portal. So Navigati is our uh, naval navigation experience. You have uh, different tools like uh, your sextant, a compass and a map to navigate. So we made an interface where you can submit artwork and then another interface where we can moderate the artwork if it's okay or not. And then it generates the museum based on the database of approved submitted artworks. He ends up finding out this tunnel is actually a bit of a time machine. And so he goes back in time and finds uh, what famous Germans I made a story writing tool. And here's one of the objects. And when you click it, this description opens up. It's a crime scene.
A really, really good thing. Thank you, Frauke, again. Thank you very much. And to the Leibniz Research Museum and to the Leibniz Association. Hopefully, we can work again together next year. It would be fantastic. Um, yeah, somebody stays behind. No. Yeah, what? Behind? On, on, no, on, 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 on the left side. I'm here. It's your, your right side. Yeah. yeah, it's Matthias Löwe. Hi. Welcome on stage. You wanted a hug. Yeah, but you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's impossible. Thanks. So, yeah, we, <laughs> we want to celebrate and also present the Humble New Talent Award, yes. something what we do the fourth year now. And um, we are super happy to have this collaboration with Humble Regional. And I also want to send greetings from John Paulson from Humble Bundle. Um, I know I've met him in Montreal a few years ago, I think five years ago. And we discussed maybe how this collaboration could look like. And it's still running. And we had every year fantastic winners. And yeah. uh, it's also a diversity award. But also, we look for new talents who probably did their first game, right? Yeah, so this award is a little bit different than the other ones because we are not looking for a specific game, but for creators uh, in their work in general, what kind of goal they have, what kind of message they want to send. So yeah, th this is basically the core of Amaze, finding new voices in games and then highlighting them. And uh, mo most of those creators, they didn't submit, but we chose them, uh, looked around, uh, saw what other people are doing. So this is quite special to be just nominated and uh, um, yeah, we should definitely take a look at yeah, and all the nominees, right? Also, wonderful selection again. So, yeah. Yeah. Should we? Yeah, should we? Go the we should. We should. Oh, right. Okay. We are getting poor. All the rich get richer. Drug Operations and the Central Intelligence Agency. Hi Amaze, my name's David and I'm coming to you from Ngunnawal and Nambri land here in so-called Australia. I wish I could actually be meeting you in person, but I am so glad that the festival is going ahead and I will see all of you in the Amaze space. We're Sam and Shannon, two artists from New Zealand. We've always wanted to make our own game, but never really knew how. We were travelling through Portugal when the lockdown happened and thought it was a good time to try. With zero coding experience, we decided to join a game jam and somehow actually managed to finish our game. We've been joining jams and making games ever since. Hi, we're Luna and Mariano. We are both from Argentina, though we're living in Europe now in different cities. Imaginaria is our first commercial game. It's a documentary walking simulator based on my own experiences in Antarctica. And we're super happy to be here. Yes! <laughs> Even in our Arcadia, we are there.
Hi, I'm Phoebe, or Girl DeBoard on the internet. I'm a game designer and writer from the US, and I make experimental games that draw inspiration from a lot of different types of media, including immersive theater, poetry, glitchy, weird internet art, and media theory as well. Um, my projects generally have a leftist political bent and incorporate themes of capitalism and climate change. This is an Apocalypse Public Service announcement. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> One amazing, right? Great. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I've prepared a little thing. So yeah, uh, as you just saw, games are being more and more used to uh, as a medium for sharing views and opinions, um, and making voice heard and topics experienced in interact or with interactive arguments. This year's winner stands out by not only having a very strong political opinion to all their works, they also managed to experiment on different styles of games. And as their latest work also features an extraordinary playful method of storytelling and potentially also for presenting his, uh, historic facts, we are delighted to see what will come out of the humble original deal, which is awarded along with a 15,000 uh, euro dollar, dollar <laughs> prize money. So congratulations to David Kripp, Aka Kolesio. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I'm over the moon. <laughs> How are you feeling? Surprised? Oh, yeah, it, incredible. Um, definitely surprised. I mean, like, yeah, such a like stacked category. Um, like Cookie Crayon, you you folks like constantly put out such stylish games. Um, like Phoebe, I've raved to you before about even in Arcadia. Um, I, I played You as Nightmare for the first time this past week, and that game is incredible. Um, also, yeah, Imaginaria, like, yeah, amazing, like, sort of place building, um, atmosphere building. Um, yeah, do yourselves a favor and check out all the other nominees' games. Um, genuinely incredible. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. As soon as the space is online, everybody can check out the games. Yes. Um, so you 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 are from Australia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Canberra. Canberra. How how is it there? How is everything here? Uh, it's That's it's really freezing cold right now. Cool. Uh, for for some reason, decided to live in the part of Australia uh, that gets the coldest yeah. for some reason. So yeah, it's it's the local. Half of our streaming team is from Australia. Oh, and they're just yeah. Australian jokes. Game. You also can tell jokes. This is an Australian okay. thing or what? Play without sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we we had a little joke session sound. going in the in the Zoom call beforehand, and I had just nothing to contribute, yeah, but tonight. definitely not my forte. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, uh, your work is incredible and uh, congratulations okay, and hopefully we see us in Berlin. It means it's a long, long way. Okay, yeah. um, sending all the best to Australia and yeah, check out what is David doing and all the best. Thank you so Good much. I yeah, would absolutely love to come to Berlin. Bye. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> It's time for the most amazing game award. An award show the video. what has so much prestige. Yeah, just stop. And it's not about also. money, it's really because it's about the selection. And uh, I'm always super, super happy to just 
see what's gonna happen with all these games. And also with the game developers, they were telling um, what is happening in their life. And uh, Matthias was asking a question just before the award show. And it was just incredible. And um, we, we see a lot of stuff in the background, right? And I don't know if this is the right moment about that. Is it the right moment? I should talk about the 10 years thing. I mean, we started very, very small. It was just 40 people coming to the Amaze Festival with some Berlin people we've been 100 people but it was something what was super special because there was so much um, feedback positive feedback coming from the international community and um, that we really thought this is something what we want to create more and also work with the community together I have, I have to be honest I had not so much of an idea of what all this kind of games world is. I come with another other background, but I had very, very important people around me um, who actually were explaining what means this indie games culture and where's the vision going and what kind of festivals are existing. So Marek Plichter, for example, was definitely one person who brought me into this world, which is super important. But uh, also what I think is very important because I come from a different background and artistic background not so much gaming more like performance and as well music and um, I think this is something what is a very nice especially with our team it's a very nice mix um, to bring games and music and craziness and flamingos and pink and all this kind of stuff together to something what people just love because they can just be human and enjoy the games and celebrate the art and all this passionate work you're doing and you're coming from all these kind of different cultures and you are just incredible and this makes Amaze so special because it's about the people who are making those games and uh, I think Amaze is definitely the place what connects a very special scene. It's the art house game scene, the art house game scene is on the rise and um, yeah, I'm just super stoked how this development was going in the 10 years. We had some kind of hiccups, like as well at every festival. It's a lot of improvisation. Now with uh, the technical things, it's also improvisation, but it's a different kind of improvisation because it needs another skill set. Um, we are learning every year. We want to be better every year. We are listening to you, what you need. And this is something what also amazes is not just the team, amazes what comes from outside and what we are reading and what we are playing and what we are seeing and all this kind of things is super important for Amaze to actually be a platform, a worldwide international platform of game creators and playful media creators who are very, very much welcome in Berlin every year. I'm super happy to be in Berlin and create this festival with my team and uh, hopefully we can see us in 2022. So, but now, enough of this. So humble we had most amazing game award. And we had already nine winners. This is the 10th. And um, I'd like to welcome Lena and W again, the winner of last year's most amazing game. And um, I don't see you. Oh, I see you here. Right, right, right. So <laughs> um, I think I never asked you did the Amaze Award, the most amazing game award, change your life? Yeah. Yeah, well, it made me feel like I didn't make the game for nothing for two years. So it was, it was really good. It, it, um, it, it helped keep me motivated. That's very, very cool. That's incredible. And I think um, it's also, Inspiring, you know, inspiring when, 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 when you win an award with the content, what you're doing, everything, all the passion, the two years, what you put in there, and then it's getting recognized and uh, by, by an independent jury. And you are now part of this independent jury. And um, yeah, should we 
look into the nominees or do you want to say uh, something about the most amazing game award? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll announce the award. It's the grand prize of a maze. It goes to the most relevant, forward thinking, interactive and playful content. We premiere the best work overall in terms of art, innovation, music, story and interaction. So this is like the, the masterpiece of the award selection. Um, so yeah. And, now we can look at the nominees. Oh yeah, let's do that. That made the project Gates of Aleppo. Uh, so I go by the handle of Mercury and I work together with uh, Wolf Swift and Stuff Bombard on this. Check out the game. A village distrait by its shadowed past, taken up by its own secrets. Saturnalia. Hi, my name is Pietro, and here are some of the amazing people that are working on Saturnalia. Ciao a tutti. Ida Hartman and I'm the artist behind Still Stand. Still Stand is about a summer and a girl, an ocean and its dark waves. I've grown more fond of summer even though the waves still come, but I know now that everything will be okay. I am Vid from Charles Games and I'm the lead game designer of Soboda 1945 Liberation. We believe video games are a great medium for telling stories, even the most serious ones. Soboda 1945 Liberation is a full motion video game about memories of people who lived through the Second World War and its aftermath. Hello Amaze! Thank you for nominating my game The Ocean Will Have Us All. I made it by myself along with my friend here and I do hope that you like it and if you don't, well, I guess that's alright too. So, thank you for nominating us. Bye. Well, well, well! <laughs> Great games, right, Lena? Yeah, it was really hard to for us to choose as a jury who the winner should be because they're all they're all amazing. So, how long does it take to to select the most amazing game award winner? Was well, we had a we had like a, a month to review all the games, I think, and then maybe we had like a two hour meeting, talking it over. And was it a fight? Yeah. Was there a lot of discussion, or was there it was a lot of pass? discussion? But I wouldn't say there was a there wasn't a fight. But we did have a lot of discussion. That's great. That's great. Always peaceful, right? Even when you have a different opinion, mm -hmm. right? Right. Yeah. I mean, in this case. <laughs> yeah. So, who's the winner? All right. The yeah. Most the most amazing award goes to a beautifully realized interactive graphic novel that is painfully relatable in its whimsical and absurd portrayal of anxiety, loneliness, and despair. The expressive detail in the illustrations are gritty yet stunning, lending themselves to unique interactions that advance the narrative in a captivating way. The experience ba balances feelings of hope and despair with a sense of humor that make players identify with a fragile limbo of feeling stuck in life and the winner is still stand by Ida Hartman and Lila Games. Oh my god! Congratulations! <laughs> this is sensational! Great! Oh Congratulations Ida! <laughs> Thank you! you. <laughs> I, I'm in complete shock. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I just how, looked at how, how the is it when you're class. waiting? Yeah, sorry, sorry, please. Yeah. yeah, I was just looking at the trailers, just like this, those are the incredible games. Uh, I can't believe that they still send one. <laughs>
Um, I mean, uh, was it one of your first games? I mean, how was it coming together? Because yeah, it was. Are, uh, you're a cartoon artist, right? Yeah, oh, I'm a comic yeah. artist and I've never worked with games before. So it was like a new way of thinking how a game, like a comic could become interactive and also working with audio and uh, yeah, animations and everything it really came together as our interactive work. So yeah, it was incredible. <laughs> And uh, um, you made everything by yourself or um, was, I mean, I see there's Nila Games as, as well involved in yeah, the whole a, production. Um, yeah. So how it's was the process and how were you working on? Yeah, it's a, it was a co-development that I was uh, hired in as a comic artist and a new game designer. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. we figured out the technical stuff together and how we wanted to experiment with like this kind of story but most of the story came from me and my like experiences and uh, yeah but it was a close uh, development together so yeah it's wonderful congratulations and we're really looking <laughs> for all these kind of narratives you know personal narratives in video games is something what we should play much more because it tells about people and uh, it's great what are you gonna do now are you um, gonna do a new yeah. game are you now super yeah. motivated to make a new <laughs> game or what's gonna be yeah. happening now yeah, this actually helps a lot in my motivation to continue to experiment with the medium. Um, but I'm going to learn how to be a proper narrative designer first. So I'm going to continue in working with other companies right now to figure out how I'm going to tell stories. And Nila game is, games are also like continuing with their own like story path. So we all learned a lot from this process because it was a big project for both of us. Uh, because we were so new and quite amateurs in it. <laughs> so this is just like an amazing recognition for it. And we're really, really happy. <laughs> Incredible happy. And uh, you've never been to a festival, right? A video game festival. You've been to video game festivals. Do you know the scene or the community? Yeah, not really. I'm new to it. And I thought that when Stillsane came out, I should tour like a lot of festivals. But then Corona came. <laughs> so mm. Yeah, mm. I never got to go anywhere but uh, but to zoom <laughs> yeah yeah the crazy thing is i saw your game for the first time at play festival in hamburg at play 20 so uh, and um, i was very impressed really impressed and i'm Thanks. super happy yeah. that you're the most amazing game award winner congratulations <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it's a great day to celebrate, right? We are yes. birth uh, we are celebrating birthday, you celebrate your award and also all the other award winners. Um, so hopefully we're gonna see each other next year yeah. at Amazing Berlin. And um, yeah. I'm super happy for you. And, Thank you so uh, much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna visit you in Berlin next year. <laughs> I'm gonna come. That's to great. That's great. I mean, you've been yeah. already part of the program this year, and yeah. um, Sarah did a great job also inviting you. And uh, you've been talking about a lot of cool stuff, what you're doing, and uh, super inspirational. And um, yeah. Great, Thank and you so I much. mean the jury. My, the jury gave you the award. What do you think about yeah. that? You know, this is. Yeah, I'm completely, I'm completely in shock <laughs> like, because I just, you know, I've been looking at all the games at this festival. And first of all, I was impressed by even being recognized in the grand prize. And then like the games I was up against was just like so amazing and so important. So the fact that the jury really felt uh, still stand and they could see themselves like recognizing the anxiety and the isolation maybe also because of the pandemic it, it really feels uh, it, it really feels truly amazing I wish you a very nice evening congratulations so again and um, see you soon we're going to stay in contact and enjoy as well the festival on saturday because the program is going on and Thank you. And I'd like to thank as well the jury again for the great job you did. You made so many people happy. And uh, yeah, thank you to Lina, to Deep Track, Adele, and to Drew. Very good job. Thank you very much. And so hopefully you all come to Berlin next year when we do the next event.
Yeah, again about space. There is no space now, but there is enough space to continue. Um, and also we're gonna celebrate now, right? We're gonna celebrate, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna celebrate the 10th Amaze Berlin Festival. And where's the cake? I mean, we, we made a wonderful cake for all of you. I wish everybody would be here and have a piece of pea. Oh my God, Santi, be careful, be careful. Oh yeah, yeah. We, I, I, Whoa. Happy birthday, Amaze. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. We sing all together. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amaze. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Santi. San Santi, yeah, we. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, no, 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 no. Santi, enough jokes. We are not funny here. It's a serious, serious thing what we are doing. Yeah. Thank you for the cake, Santi. See you tomorrow for moderation, moderation, because tomorrow we have a full day of a Maze Berlin. The fourth day, uh, we're starting with breakfast and croissants. So writer and uh, she also has a special guest and um, yeah great program workshops and also when you're in berlin you definitely should come to the breakfast club what starts at 11 goes until one and it's also an open stage so if you want to say something if you have something to say then just come and talk publicly to all the people and we eat pizza mm, delicious and cake cake we, because we're going to keep the cake for for the people who are coming yeah so yeah so Ryder, thank you a lot i mean it would be so cool when you've been here so Ryder butter our program manager did an amazing job <laughs> i just got a flamingo from her uh, in this morning as a present and uh, yeah I, I i hope next year you're gonna be here in berlin because we really miss you um and thanks a lot for your work yeah, and then the party goes on and on and on and on and on. And we have um, music again. Um, more or less, it's a resident DJ. No, it's not a resident DJ. It's a live act, Depp Master. And uh, he's the, yay, Depp Master is going to play after the short break. And then we have a DJ set by Mo Chan. And um, I think it's the end, end, it's more like the end moderation, right? And then, of course, not, don't miss the DJ set, right? From DJ Storno, this is a little weird person. Um, yeah, that's all what I have to say. Yeah, it's uh, this, this. So, see you all in Berlin 2022 to the 11th Amaze Berlin Festival. And then let's celebrate the real reunion and celebration of Arthouse Games. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>